Okay, that's all sorted. Stream stuff has been updated. Alright, let's get right on into it. <coughs> Good afternoon, everybody. It is I, Dark Angel Drew, the Dark Angel of Twitch. I am back with you again, playing some more of Lost Judgment. I got to uh, this part yesterday, so... The map here. Uh huh. Said that's where we are. Now, where do I need to go? Head to Yokohama ninety nine. Really? I haven't done nothing yet. Yet here you go, you're making me pick up a fight already. And Kaito just that's knees the guy, and that's how we end that. Let's roll talk. That. Okay, this way. Hey, okay, you confused me enough, and now you made me walk in traffic. Okay. Eh. If I end up getting killed in, uh, in this city, I can't... wait. Jinko? I think that's how you say that? I'm probably butchering that and I apologize. But, hope everyone's having a great day so far. It is Wednesday. We're half through the week. It's Wednesday and you know what that means. Rest in peace, Brody Lee. We miss you. Circuit. That'll probably come in handy. What do we got in here? I always like checking out the restaurants and stuff like that. Can't can't eat anything or stuff like that because I have full health and they won't let me eat if I don't have if like if I have full health I can't have food. Which sucks. They have booze. They have a beer. Let's excuse me, beef bowl. And salmon, so some sushis, stuff like that. Okay. Nice. I'll remember that for the future. In my way. Oh. More street thugs. Gives me some more experience. What a waste. Eh, not really. It helps me blow off some steam. those later.
Make sure to do some exploring afterwards. I do this first thing. This is a new setting. This wasn't in the uh, in the first one. Those who've popped in, hello, I am Dark Angel Drew, the Dark Angel of Twitch. Some lost judgment and yay, cutscene. Yo, so I shall hold shut up. up. A sec, Tom. Hmm? Nonsense over there. <laughs> That's not what I saw. Would you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming? Knock it off! Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sign over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! <laughs> Come on! Kids don't seem to give a about people these days. Agreed. Nope. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, don't anything ask else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pops. You goddamn brats! I got that one. He called us goddamn brats. You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no. I just don't want you loitering in front of my store. That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers. <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down. You must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? <clears throat> Let me see. Hey! Give me my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. <laughs> you think you can fuck with us? Oh yeah. You're gonna kick your ass! Why is everyone trying to kick my ass? Maybe don't be assholes. Ooh, am I actually about to use my new fighting style? Oh yes, the new snake style. Fighting with snake style. Snake style is focused on swift pulling and counter attacks. It works especially well against those carrying weapons. Made him tap out like a bitch. Damn it! Fuck you. Now I can kick their asses. Gets rid of the punks. Oh, it's glorious. That stinks like a bitch. I'll take 500 yen. These guys are monsters. Oh, really? Is that what you call people that are defending <gasps> that store Akito owners? Just now? 
Don't tell me you've been training at a secret dojo or something. Eh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here. This came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. <sighs> you really have to. But thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. <laughs> they look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learned some manners the hard way in Kamrocho. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomong gangsters. And those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Be back for more? I certainly hope not. But anyway, I sure Thank am you glad for you coming in, by. Shannon. I hope you're Come doing well today. The only ones you've ever intervened. And I take it you're not from around here? Yeah, but we might end up staying. For a while at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Oh, cool! Equipping gear. Equipping gear can help you boost your defense. Gear can be obtained from shops, minigames, certain side cases. So take a look around town and see what you can find. How to equip gear? Open the items app, navigate to the gear tab. Da -da 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 -da. Cool! But now that's out of the way. Now let's go deal with these other guys that we have to help out around here. Oh, we gotta go the other way. Thank. Okay, that was funny. He was scared so bad he fainted. <laughs> okay, that was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> that was funny. Ah, here we go. Yokohama 99. Yeah, that's the place. Whoa, not too shabby, guys. Time to help these guys out with whatever it is we have to do. Yo. Ah, if it isn't the man of the hour, Yagamishi. What's up, Sukumo? See you again. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First, he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. <laughs>
<laughs> nice try, sure. Kaito. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. Gotta give him that. Gotta give him that. He's not a thief anymore. The place is nice, though. It's kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. <laughs> The For sure. Smirk. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Oh. Just roll oh with my. it. Give Just a smile and nod, All the Kaito detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. Gotta give him that. Alright. What decal you got for us? <clears throat> to sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Liumang. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. That they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. They'll also want to hold the schools accountable, but none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent hey Sarah, how are you? Often manifests Thanks for popping in and joining the flock. Yeah, I call that puberty. But that would apply specifically Technically what it boys, is, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls, it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, okay. oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. And then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Okay, do we have Ancient to... matriarchs okay. were particularly I... vulnerable during yes, we're going all the way back. kind of say the survival... After all... However, okay, yeah, this yeah, intense yeah. social need, need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Glad to hear Remember you're doing well. Was, Punishment equated to justice. How's your back holding up? Is it gotten better? Society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether yes. we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's yes. how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All Allegedly. over the world, no matter where or when. That's why I'm glad I'm an outcast. I just, I'm just me. <laughs> Sucks it's a little bit sore, but glad to hear it's not too bad. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. Tsukumo-kun's the one hitting the books. 
I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. <laughs> Here's another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, yes. the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Thanks for the imagery, sure. Sukumo. But that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this oh, school? Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. There are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyurashi and I couldn't possibly bet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. Man, <laughs> for a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's <laughs> name is Kyoinro. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Yagami, don't complain. It's free food. You ain't paying for it. <laughs> Let's hit it. Pebbles. Oh. Case files, tasks, items. Toughness, light, usual when you need a little health boost. Already improved that. Don't have recipes yet. No one may I'll be able to sell these. No on me, I'll be able to put those to use. Ooh. Record player. That'll work for now. Increase my attacks. Why the fuck did I just pick up an earthworm? Apparently now I'm walking on cars.
Tons of stuff here. Well, let's check out here. In the process, I get to kick a couple of people's asses. Take a bad again. Sweet. Let's roll top. You gotta tell me twice, Kaito. to talk to, but I don't see anyone there, so I'll have to check that out later. Yeah, kind of figured wouldn't be able to go in there. Oh, nothing new in chat. on these. we will probably do a collect spree of those later. What do we got in here? One of those old claw machines. How many people played those and spent X amount of quarters or money in those damn claw machines? Hey Eric, how you doing today my friend? Hope you're well. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. What do we got? S Sonic the Fighters. Fighting Vipers. Fantasy Zone. Motor Raid. What else we got in here? Yep. Come more of those. Nothing on those. Some model figurine thing. Ha! Huh, cool! Cool! Maybe I'll play a couple couple of these games later. Just wanted to check out the... Uh, No, I've got to go. Wrong thing. Where do I need to go? Go to... Okay. Club Sega. Woo! We can do some gambling. Gambling. I'm pretty sure that's the robots. Mahjong. Play golf? Cool. A couple of bars. Corner stores. the video games. I don't need to go to Yokohama 99. You know what? 
We should probably take a taxi to Chinatown. I think there was a taxi down here. Yeah, there was. <sighs> Kaito, stop running into people's bikes, dude. Oh, hey, waifu. Stream is good. I am currently about to go to Chinatown. That's close enough, so let's go here. Cause then I can do the next story mission, then I might hit up an arcade or a bar or something. Let's roll, hey, you're gonna pay me back that 500 yen for that taxi ride? Oh. Knowing you, Kaito, probably not. We got wire. Here we go. Joe Inro. Looks like this is it. Thank you for the host. Ah, uh, love to Are you. Are you almost here, Yagamishi? Right. We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Excellent. Just give the host my name. Then. Will do. <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? He sure has come a long way. Yeah, at this rate, he'll leave us in the dust. Yeah. This is where we need to go. Hey, Without Scordex. further ado, allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san, the gentlemen I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Tsukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Okuda. I'm the chairman of a private high school, Serio, if you've heard of it. Wasn't that the name of the school of the people I kicked the crap out of just a few minutes Serio ago? High. Isn't that where those kids were from? Yeah, Call it. the ones from earlier. Is something the matter? We actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? No. You bet your ass we did. Had to knock a little sense into those brats. You mean there was an altercation? I, perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Come on, pal. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Because Kaito, that that's not how this works. Kaito -san. Chairman, you... we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So, would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet, no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already... Make sure to grab a drink, kick body, back, let's cause some mayhem. ...concerns promptly enough. I believe the key is no problem. Take your time and thank Stop you for the lurk. Before it starts. Lurking in the shadows, are, hiring are you? Detectives to help. Oh yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened across a sign. Yokohama 99. It read. I visited your web page actually, and I discovered just how well versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, we knew who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. This footage should provide a detailed snapshot of student interaction that would otherwise go unnoticed. Then, after a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial analysis. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. Yes, but if one of these spy cams were found, the whole operation could be compromised. 
As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to hire us. This secret stays <laughs> between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate, I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamojo. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, Yagami-shi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. Hey, good idea. You might learn a thing or two from watching the master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Like I said, my goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. Hmm. In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork... That could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any What is problem. up, Sister Wolf? This that is Lost is Judgment. The, root of it. the sequel to what Judgment that I streamed a while back. I finished it, so this is the sequel. I know that motivate me. Uh, you don't think that it backfire? Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Okuda-san, you mentioned you couldn't trust your teacher's reports. Why is that? Uh, human error, I suppose. Behavior can be ambiguous, and it is difficult to notice every little detail. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. It's a spin-off to yes. uh, the Yakuza series. Yes, I suppose it did. So it's in, like, the same continuity and stuff like on? that? Uh, uh, where should I begin? Ah, story time. You see, folks, it has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. Ooh, trigger warning. Poor this is going to get very dark. Home. You mean because he was being bullied? Not on paper, at least. We established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Trigger warning in effect, people. If Neither stuff like this upsets court. you, turn away now. Wait, you were taken to court? Yes. One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clear. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe there wasn't. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, with bright futures ahead of them. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. Don't tell me he got picked on, too. That could have been the case, but I didn't get enough details to say for sure. 
from what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. Missing person, Tase? Suicide four years back, a missing teacher. Yeah. This is one of the few times controversy will not create cash. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the darkness that's plagued my school. I've heard this guy's that voice before. That is why I went the detective route. I'm not going to ask about the scuffle. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Tsukumo? Hmm. What else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. All right then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Oh hey, God. Wait. I want to place an order and tell your chef. I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap. Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? In that case. Uh, excuse me. I'm ready to order too. <laughs> Mike, thank you for the disturbing imagery. And I don't think the lovely ladies in this chat needed to hear that. I sincerely apologize for Mad Mike's discrepancies. Let's get down to business. <laughs> so, how was that for your first day's work? I realize that meeting was a lot to take in, but the task at hand mm. seems pretty straightforward. Oh yeah. What was that you said about using hidden cameras? Tomorrow we'll be deciding where to put them. We don't have all that many, so you know. Oh, and we'll be dressed as AC repairmen. What? You gonna make us wear uniforms? <laughs> of course. Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As you may <laughs> recall, only the chairman is aware of our investigation. We must therefore deceive both student and faculty. Sounds <laughs> like a plan to me. For now, no argument there. Let's call it a night. <laughs> You've got a point there. In any case, try to make yourselves at home. Apologies in advance if you find our amenities wanting. Eugene shows not such a bad town. And the Chinese food, oh, top notch. Besides, <laughs> these kids got nothing on our usual Yakuza flunkies. <laughs> I'm a night owl, so my work's just starting. I recommend you get some sleep for tomorrow. If you want to close your eyes for a bit, the couch is surprisingly comfortable. Slept on couches before? I can do that. Let's be social for a little bit, I guess. Mine. I don't want to decorate the same my place. Why the Of course, he would have his fucking mask hanging up here. <sighs> Back when he was running around causing mayhem. <sighs> hmm? okay. What did you do? Okay. Ah, cool. All right, uh, hang on a second here, guys. I actually need to change the batteries in my controller because apparently they're low. Give me a few moments, please.
box. Hmm. Yeah. If you can, yeah, if you can sell it for twice as much, you might as well make bank. It's not rocket science. Even I would do that. No way. I... Fuck you, Sukumo. <laughs> Makes sense. That's now I get why he's against it. But dude, what? How did you not realize you were paying three times the price? Huh. No. I can skateboard in this game. Yagami san. Huh? Ah! Okay, I now have a skateboard. <laughs> hey. Now, oh. Sukumo. I gotta go do this shit. Just give me the yeah. board. Can you? <sighs> okay. Gotcha. Yeah. What? This. What the hell? Perfect. 
sakes. What the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Yo, I have no idea how the hell I did Excuse that. Excuse me. I have no idea how the hell I did that. I have no idea how the hell I did that. No way. Talk about a sore loser. Now I've got to get into a fight. All right. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> hey. Yep. Huh. Are you serious? It's a lot of moolah. <laughs> I owe you one. Okay, that's done. I'll have to practice on my skateboarding in this game. Kaito, get the hell off my couch. I need to sleep. <laughs> huh. Alright, let's keep on going. Yagamishi, remember those uniforms I mentioned yesterday? Mm -hmm. You'll need to put one on before we go. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> After all, there's no information I can't find, body measurements included. I don't know if I should be impressed by that or extremely disturbed. I'm going to go with the latter and say very disturbed. I don't doubt that. You've never been one to miss a detail. Okay, disguises. I had to wear this for a mission in the first one. So, <laughs> it's a real throwback. <laughs> Shark stars? I am starting a game. What's up with those guys? They sure look like men on a mission. But for what? We will now commence our journey by taxi to Seiryo High. Gentlemen, are we all ready? 
Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always swing for the fences. Ain't that right, Tom? Huh? <laughs> you know it. Good. Then let's get going. Talk about a uh, unholy alliance. All right. So we gotta go taxi. Wait. Why the hell am I paying for a taxi for these? For all four of us. What are you three gonna help me pay for this? Jackasses. Who's gonna pay me back for that the rest of that yen? Does it even show I'm live right now? Ah, you must be the repairman. The chairman said you'd be here. Okay, yeah, I'm live. Okay, good. I take good. it you know where you're going? Yes, but thank you anyway. Ooh. This place reeks of money. <laughs> uh, they are a prestigious prep school. Wonder if the kids are on recess. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. Okay, so I gotta play detective. Great. Okay, what do we got? It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building, and that must be the gym. By the way, how many spy cams do we have? Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. <laughs> of course they do. Between us? We could, but that might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is. So people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> Clever as always, Yagamishi. Huh. That reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, they'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural skeptic. True. All that is to say, Yagamishi knows his material. Hear that, Tom? <laughs> you should have been a con man. <laughs> Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? Right here. Now, these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. Impressive. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. So, we just gotta find the teacher's blind spots, eh? <laughs> You're looking at a natural buddy. You would brag about something like that, Kaito-san. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think it's time for action. Okay, Tak and I'll start here. And you guys can work your way around opposite us. Affirmative. Okay. We've only got ten cameras, so we gotta use them smart. Shoe lockers. <laughs> Bet all kinds of team drama goes down here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's where you drop love letters to your crush. Or challenge your rivals to duels. Dude, what century did you go to school in? <laughs> Look, whatever. All I'm saying is, this place is worth at least three cameras. That many? Just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do find one, you make it special. And this one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Huh. 
If you're that sure, let's do it. Gotcha, okay. Sukumo reporting in. I see you've set up a few cameras already. Feed is coming in nice and clear. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks. That's things on your end. We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is the classroom building. Copy that. All right, Doc. Just follow my lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust your judgment here, Kaito. Really? Go pushing people around, Kaito. There's no reason to be a dick. That'll come in handy. The boys will handle this floor. So let's go up one more. Gotcha. Every bully loves a good pair of stairs. <laughs> Pushing someone down and ruins their day pretty quick. You think it's really that often? Still, it is a blind spot. Yep. Close corners make for poor visibility. Making this a number one choice among assholes. He's not wrong. You don't say. All right, then let's get a camera here. All right, let's move up to the next floor. Once nobody's spying on us, we should be good. Yagami sheep, are you perhaps on the second floor? Yeah, we're about to start setting up. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor, and we'll be heading to the east building after. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third floors here? Sure, not a problem. Splitting up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the second floor and you do the third? Works for me. Oh god. Gotta go up here. Okay. All right, let's find another one. Okay then. That's done. Here, I guess. Okay, I put it up by the roof. Looking for something, pal? Yeah, I'm kind of busy, in case you couldn't tell.
Sounds to me like you want to get reported. Wow. Stop. Way to be a jackass. We're allowed to take breaks. Here, thousand yen, no questions asked. That'll cover a pack of smokes, maybe two. You're saying I should take this? Well, yeah. Kinda sucks asking you to move on your break. You know, you're not such a bad guy. <laughs> In all honesty, uh, the budget's been tight this month. All right, well, there we go. Ah. Okay. Realized I was a jackass. My mistake. Okay, that's done. <sighs> now I gotta put up with Kaito. Kaito-san, I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I can think of. Thing is, I've still got two cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by without a second glance. Hey Kaito-san, don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that. But we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted to, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. Why has it gotta be me? This is really weird. <laughs> you know, we totally could have done this during recess. Hang on a sec. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. Ah, excuse me. Hey, it's the douchebag I kicked the crap out of earlier. Hey, you saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Now's not the kind of two two. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Yeah, thanks. Let's roll, talk. Wait, is this the right one? Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Whoa... <laughs> Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. But nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. 
Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who may I ask called you here? It was the chairman who called us in. I had assumed all teachers were notified. Oh, the chairman. Well, I suppose I should leave it at that then, hmm? Well, when you say it like that... It... Did he make this appointment with you directly? Uh, yep, he sure did. Mm. And I'm sure our... His name? Oh, well, uh, that would be... Okuda-san. How could I forget? Yes, of course. I'm sorry for being so rude. Ah, no, by the way, anyone ever tell you... What? <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out Kaito, of here. think with your real head, not the other head. Sheesh. And we're done. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now. Kaito, go! Jesus, Mary and Joseph Stalin. You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. What, so that makes me the bad guy? Yes, apparently. All right, all right. Back to work, I get it. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey man, we just finished setting up the cameras. Good, so did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. Okay. Oh yeah, I watched that this morning, bro. Like, as soon as you sent me the link, I checked it out. I also posted it in my, uh, my buddy's group chat on Facebook, The Modern Gods. I, ta I posted it in there. So hopefully that'll get a couple extra views on it for you. Always help and more promotions, my friend. Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. Yep. Extra hundred yen, I'll take that. Wrong as it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. <laughs> You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. What do you got? What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. Them again. Now they're picking on a girl. 
Hmm. Whoa, did you see that? Writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Come on, is this called for? Yo, Doc, let's go kick the shit out of those punks. No way I'm letting that slide. Kaito, cool it. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? Looks like they got what they came for. They're already leaving the classroom. <sighs> Scumbags. Man, why's nobody helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. Kids think this doesn't involve you. Kaito? Let's go, Kaito-san. I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. Just keep it on but file. Now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. Kaito and I have something else to do first. Nope. Still on level three. I gotta go down to two. Need to go to classroom two, two. Two, one, two, two. Ta, that's her. The girl we saw on camera. Yeah. Let's get a little closer and see how she's doing. Suspicious. Okay, that's just cruel. That is just cruel and unusual punishment. Come on. Hey. Yagamishi. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. Places to go, people to deal with. Too fast. <laughs> said third floor, I believe. That was unintentional. People are in my way. Sorry, this is a bit of a slow burner kind of game. Think I might play something else either tomorrow or on Friday. Did I just make Kaito run into a wall? 
And that was kind of funny. Yeah, here we go. Please come in. Huh? You're that teacher. Sawa sensei, wasn't it? To what do we owe the pleasure? Kaito? All of these men are detectives? Yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakumi-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well then. Apparently, now we can trust one teacher. Okay. Great logic. I've explained the situation to Sawa-sensei, our homeroom teacher for class 2-2. Why don't you both have a seat? I knew something was wrong. But I could never put my finger on what. The girl being bullied. Her name's Mommy Koda. Do I have that right? Yes. She's in the basketball club. And so are all those kids surrounding her. I wonder if that's where the bullying started. Sawa-sensei. You mentioned noticing something was wrong? Well, only that Koda-san hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. Kick those bullies the hell out of here. Kaito? The video we took has all you need. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. Mm, true. The school can't just come out and say, we've been recording your kids without consent. Yeah. Yes. And let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot treat this lightly. No. You're not saying we should look the other way, are you? Hey, last night you said the total opposite, man. If you intend to cover this up, let me just begin by saying... No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then we need to act now. We have no idea how close to the edge Kodasan could be. But if there's a chance... What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? I agree with that. Um, pardon me for saying so, but bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Thus, a third party must intervene. I presume you read that in a book somewhere. I can tell you from experience that no victim finds it easy to open up about their situation. Not to family, friends, anyone. I can vouch for that. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. Yeah. So if we, as outsiders, are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so! No, I think the chairman's right. Make this is hitting me way more in the feels than I would like to admit, but I'm going to keep playing. A big scene might only make things worse for Kodasan. Oh, come on, talk. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes, and you're just going to watch them sink? No. What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. But did you say you were a detective? My name's Yagami. And you want to put a stop to the bullying, like it's that easy. Tell me, where does all this confidence come from? Former lawyer. Do you think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? I do. Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? Then by all means, detective, enlighten us. You don't have to be so condescending. Nope, she's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. So what's this big secret you're talking about? I'm 
It's those students sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah, there's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Adults do the same thing, honestly. I guess we're not so different from high schoolers. Then we should hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that would only spread the issue. And that would only bring more pain to Kodosan. Tell me, what is your suggestion? What I'm getting at is that it's the silence of all her classmates that's empowering these bullies. On the surface, they feign disinterest, or pretend not to notice, because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down... Yeah. So if the class could just... We have to tip the social balance in that... Then, it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? Hmm. Huh. I can see how you arrived there. Alright, so where do we come in? We come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're gonna be the spark that lights a fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini-speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. I don't blame you. I honestly can't say it'll work, but I think it's worth a shot. <laughs> I see. Chairman, I don't know what these detectives are planning, but I'll tell you this right now. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Hopefully, I made the right choice here. Do you remember what I told you about the student who committed suicide? No. That affected Sawa-sensei profoundly. Perhaps she blames herself for being unable to prevent it. Whatever the cause may have been. I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, help her, Yakimi-san. Help us all. We will. Yeah, I think that was the right choice. Because if it wasn't, it probably wouldn't have moved the story along. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? So far, so good. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2-2? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but there's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens? Hmm. All right. I'll check it out on the way. Look, Yagamishi. Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. Uh, uh, Yagamishi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! Huh. See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perp finally notices, he goes back to fix it and BAM! Caught in the act. Hmm. I get it, Amasawa. Just stay back. Leave hey, this to me. What is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying to peep on us. Oh, wow, that girl's pretty sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed.
Come on, let's catch him already. Stop! Hey, wait! <gasps> Are you safe, Yagamichi? Seems like you're in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, you think? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe I have to do this. Yagami, next time, hide the cameras better. Stop the bullying that way and hide them in a better place. Maybe a little bit closer to the freaking extinguisher, but not enough where it covers up the action. Sheesh. Climbing pipes and steel frames. You can also travel along pipes and steel frames during parkour. Okay. Okay. That didn't work. What? See if I can fix figure this out. If not, I am screwed like a light bulb. Yagamichi, you should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Great. Just what I needed.
Looks like you've made it to the rooftop. Where have you been watching from this whole time? From the drone, Yagamishi. I found a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. <sighs> from here, use the drone as a guide and jump from that roof toward the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. Right. I'll try not to die. It looks like some of the guards have arrived. You think you can make it out of there? <sighs> I'll have to somehow. But before that, I'm gonna need to set up these speakers. What? Even after all that? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? Oh, It'll be fine. God. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides, I have the world's greatest hacker on my side. You know very well I'm weak to flattery. <laughs> but for the glory of Yokohama 99, I will not let you down, Yagamishi. Okay, let's we get, get this it. mission started. All right, so. All right, let's go. Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay? Got it. Counting on you, Tsukumo. This was the shortest route to class 2-2. Two -two. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their posts. Let's check out the rooftop. Aha. Uh -huh. Another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Oh, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? There's just one. Just one? Well, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? It's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really gonna work? No, no. No doubt the magician. Just take my word for it and let it fly. Smoke bomb. While taking cover, move the cursor over an enemy and press RT to throw a smoke bomb.
I see now. <coughs> oh, damn. You work like a charm. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> what did I tell you? But, Yagamishi, that only works once. You'll have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. Nice! I'm excited to see that. Yet. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh. Can you hear me? If I keep going I have no idea how I handled that one. Scene from earlier, right? The, the game goes good. I'm going to try and finish up this bit yes, of a mission. Correct. You have any idea how it's looking right now? I'll take a look. I'm going to try and not no get caught again. Sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh, then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there. But I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah, piece of cake if he's alone. Hey, I don't know why the hell I'm doing this. Ah, crud.
Oh, thank God. Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. I thought I was so screwed. Okay. I'm in class 2 2. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. <laughs> Next to you. Well, better set up those speakers while I can. Let's get it done. Good luck. Good old fashioned detective. Did you work. say something through the speakers? Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. Perfect. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Almost like you're in the room. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Huh? Oh, no, you don't. You stay your ass right there. Go get Yakun and the boys. I see you got security all riled up. They've been looking all over for you. Didn't think you'd be dumb enough to stay. Could have sworn I saw you earlier at lunch. Now, where have I seen that face? Oh, you're the guy from yesterday. The guy who stole my fucking phone. I'd say it's time for some payback. Don't Want another? Hard, Already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Look, who the fuck are you and why are you in our school? No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? You here to swipe some girls in gym clothes or something? <clears throat> Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh, yeah. We'll end up as heroes for breaking this nasty-ass pervert. Sick. I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Uh... That's a uh, weird thing to have. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. Alright, you wanna fight? Holy shit! What? Oh, yeah. ah! Don't let him go! I am so not in the mood to break people's necks. Oh, who am I kidding? Yes, I am. Just your average creeper. You really don't know who you're dealing with, do you? Yagamichi, you can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? No, can't have that. <laughs> Only one way out then.
Who's killing who? I didn't think so. I'll take the cash and go, thank you. Uh, should I have gone easier on them? No. Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scarce. Unfortunately, you're on your own from here. The three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? I got it. Do I have to do a complete other stealth mission just to get out of here? Come on. Huh. Oh, that was fun. How's my health? Eh, I can go get some food now. Sweet. Did that take? Oh. Why not? We'll swing some balls. Let's check this out. Let's try this. Let's give this a try. Oh, sweet! It's a golfing mini Let's game. Let's do it. I screwed up. Okay. Huh. Uh. I really am shit at this. Yeah. 
All right, now I know what I'm doing. It's a miracle. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this up. Then I'll go back and I'll do like the last cutscene, and then I'll be done for the day. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, let's finish it off with a bang. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's 310 points. Sweet. It's not bad. All right. It was actually kind of fun. To do some more golf. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's watch the last cutscene. Then that'll be the end of this stream for today. Been going at this for over two hours? Alright, that's actually not a bad amount to do. Thanks for leaving me high and dry, guys. Wait a minute. What the hell? I'm not walking all the way over there. There we go. Okay. So I guess I had to select districts and everything let you select exactly where you want to go. Which is a royal pain in the ass, if you ask me. Alright, let's play this and be done with it. I'll take an extra hundred yen, thank you. Probably win some of that back playing blackjack. <laughs> oh, man, you almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. Believe me, I that do way, too. They'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. Unfortunately. <laughs> wow, look who's talking. That's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. If everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Rest up on the count. All right. It's actually a good spot to save, guys. All right, that's saved right there. So, thanks to everyone who tuned in. I might come back with this, or I might play a different game tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, to those that tuned in, I thank you. You're always a proud members of the flock. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Cheers, everybody.